The best way to close every single client that you talk to that's closable is by widening the gap of where they are right now and where they want to go. This simple selling framework will allow you to close every client that's closable. It's called the gap selling. What you wanna do is take where they currently are and find out where they wanna be and you wanna widen that gap. Show them where they are right now and ask them where they wanna be and then widen that gap. Let me explain. Look, I've had hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of sales meetings with prospects for all types of services, go high level related, then website design, freelancing, SMMA services, Google services, SEO services, all this stuff. I've had meetings and had I known this concept, I would be way further than I am today because I would have closed way more clients and I'm gonna break it down for you in this video and explain how you can use it to close as many people as possible. Look, there are so many ways to get booked appointments for your agency, everything from Facebook organic to Facebook paid ads to Instagram to LinkedIn to automatic stuff like email sending, we have cold SMS messages, WhatsApp outreach, voicemail drops, Facebook automatic, contact form, bot submission. The list goes on and on and on. And honestly, I've tested all of these. I have full trainings on all of these, but none of it will matter if you can't close clients. Look, you will never scale your agency. Even if you start running ads, if you take all of my winning ads that we ran on Facebook that has allowed us to scale and you did the same thing and you got all the same meetings, but if you don't have the right sales framework, none of it will work for you and you'll end up spending and wasting a lot of time, energy, effort on all this stuff when really what you should be focused on is on growing your sales ability so all these channels work for you and they all can work. Once you level up, it doesn't matter what outreach channel you use. It doesn't matter if you go to in-person events or you're messaging people on Facebook, you'll be able to close anyone. So here's the thing, certain avenues always will have more advantage than others. When I started, I did all of my prospecting locally, meaning I met with clients literally face to face like this inside of a coffee shop. I used to go down and drive down in my car down to a Tim Hortons. All my Canadian people will know I'm from Buffalo. So we actually have Tim Hortons as well. And I would sit there and I would try to show them all the stuff that I was able to do, which at the time was website development. I was doing some SEO services as well. And I would show them firsthand, look, this is what we're gonna do. Then I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna build it like this and so forth. And this actually, ironically, even though my sales skills were bad, my closing rate was actually pretty good because there's no real competition, right? They're not meeting up with 10 different business owners, but they do have 10 people cold calling them. A lot of these business owners, they value that traditional face-to-face -face handshake relationship. So honestly, if you wanna get clients real quick, my first couple thousand dollars per month online was from my local market. It's not very hard. You can join some kind of local business networking group. In fact, you can even host these events and you can sign many clients that way. You can get a full-time income just by using this and you don't even have to be that good at sales. Just because you're shaking their hand, they're gonna wanna do business with you because that's how they do business. So again, some strategies you'll have a big advantage in, but no matter what strategy you use, if you wanna travel the world, you wanna be remote, be a digital nomad, live in amazing places like Medellin, which is where I'm at right now, you'll still need to cultivate these sales skills. The very first tip that I have for you is to listen more than you speak. So if you record your sales calls, which you absolutely should, every single one should be recorded, you need to listen more than you speak. When you hear those audio bars and lines, when you play back that recording, you should hear them talking way more than you. You need to ask them good questions, get them to talk about themselves, get them to talk about their story, get them to talk about why they started this company, what their goals are, and ask them good questions genuinely develop an interest in their business. Wow, what made you start the company? Oh, you started it with your brother, that's so cool. Have you guys always been close? Questions like this will show them that you care. And also you can recite it later on in the call and show them that you were actually listening to what you were saying. And this is going to get them to like you very much. 
Also, when you're listening, you're gathering data, you're seeing where the pain is in their business, and then you're solving for that pain. You're not gonna ask them, hey, where's your biggest pain? Just ask them, okay, well, what's stopping you from growing to the goal that you told me about? What's stopping you from achieving X amount of leads or X amount of revenue or X amount of booked appointments? What do you think is that biggest bottleneck for you? Maybe their issue is time. Maybe their issue is budget. Whatever that is, you'll know exactly what to sell them. If they don't have a lot of budget, but they're always so busy and running around and their head's all over the place, they're taking 10 hours to respond to a lead, then you might now know what they need is lead follow-up services, right? What they need is they need to respond to people quicker. Maybe they need missed call text back. Maybe when you look at their online reviews, they just forget to collect reviews and so that's hurting their business. Maybe their website doesn't even work properly. Maybe they don't have their phone number at the top. The form is not properly formatted and asking the right questions. So some stuff you can gather just by looking at their resources like their website, their Google My Business, but sometimes you have to just listen. You have to see what they need, what they feel their biggest pain point is. So you're gonna take where they are right now and you're gonna take where they want to be. And you're gonna try to find out those two spots. Okay, so you're here, you wanna get to here, and then ask them good questions in between. So what's your plan? How do you feel you're going to get to this goal that you told me about? Do you think it's going to happen? When do you think you'll be able to achieve this goal? Do you think with your current strategy, you'll be able to hit this goal that you are telling me about, right? You're taking this and you're making them understand, you're making them realize that if they don't have a plan to hit it, guess what? It's not gonna happen. And now the gap widens. This is called gap selling. I learned this from a book. Very good book, you can check that out. Also real quick, if you want our client getting scripts, our client getting strategies, our outreach, DMs, literally everything A to Z, then you can go ahead and check out the free course in the description. If you want all of our snapshots imported into your account, I'm providing all of that. It's completely free. If you don't have a high level account, then you can sign up for a free 30 day trial down below and I will give you access to everything, sales call recordings, additional services that you can actually offer, how to sell those services and how to charge high ticket. Everything is in there. So let's dive back into the video. But long story short, the summarized version is to ask them questions to get them to realize, oh, wait a minute, I actually don't have a plan, right? They don't know how they're going to get to their goal. And so now they're not as close. They might think, oh yeah, I just need to double my business. Yeah, I'm just going to, I just need to get a couple more leads. Okay, well, how are you going to get those leads? What's your plan? And if they tell you they're going to do advertising on TV or newspaper, you can ask them, if these are your goals, why don't you just do that, right? Or if they're saying they're already spending money on Facebook, on Google, why don't you just tell them, okay, well, we jumped on this call. So if this is working so well for you, why don't you just double your budget? Why not just spend more money? Will, will you double your business? Will you hit that goal that you told me about? And then by asking good questions like this, you can see what the actual issue is. If you're doing SaaS, and you are seeing what their pain point is in their business and maybe they're so busy, you can ask them, well, look, you've obviously tried to automate a couple of these things, right? You've tried to have your employee handle this for you. You've tried to have your employee do appointment booking and you know, you've told your front desk to text the lead as soon as they come in. Why haven't they done that yet? I mean, do you think if you tell them another three times, they'll listen? Or do you just think they're gonna be more frustrated? Do you think if you had a tool that can help and assist your team in this, do you think they'd be more productive? This is how you sell. You ask good questions and you get them to realize their own problem on their own. And then you're in a good position. If you've genuinely showed them value and if you've genuinely showed them things that you can help with and you gave them a couple really good realizations, they're gonna love you and they're gonna naturally say, okay, well, let me see what you have to offer. How can you solve my problem? Now they're asking you, and that's how the sales call should feel. It should feel like you're just asking them questions. And honestly, if you can't find a problem and you can't find something that you can genuinely help them with, then maybe they're not a good fit. Then you can just respond and say, great, so why are you talking to me? And you want to develop this positioning in your calls to where they're coming to you for help right? They are speaking to you because they need something from you. And you're just simply here giving that to them, right? You don't go to a doctor and then a doctor looks at you and then vomits all these different medications. No, a doctor sits there and he listens. So what symptoms are you having? What is the issue? If you just come in and you tell me you have a headache 
and he just tells you, oh, you have a brain tumor. Yep, you have a brain tumor. You need chemo. You might die. You have a brain tumor. You're going to think that's a terrible doctor. He's just prescribing something random to you. But instead, you go to their office. You tell them the symptoms you're having. You tell them when you started having it. You tell them how you feel. You give them as much information as possible. And then they do a diagnosis and they give you what you need. You as the business owner, you as the high level SaaS owner here or SMMA owner or agency, or maybe you just do web design, whatever kind of business you run or whatever your core service is, that's how you need to treat your clients. Talk to them as if they are a patient and you're just seeing what they need help with. If they're perfectly fine, and you can say, okay, great. And something I even say on my intro calls, when someone even expresses interest, I'll say, look, on the demo call, we're going to go over your business. I'm going to show you how we run things. And look, honestly, if you're getting cheaper leads than us, then I'll pay you for advice, right? And that always gets them to kind of laugh and it's never happened. But this just ensures them that what I have is going to be better than they have. And it also ensures them that, you know what? This guy is only going to add to my business because he's humble enough to say he's willing to learn from me. Another huge tip for you is to actually share your screen and show them live results. Whether you're selling SaaS or ads, leads, appointments, anything, websites, when you share your screen and show them something that's live versus a presentation, it's going to be way more powerful. Now, if you don't have any past clients or case studies or testimonials, that's fine. Just create a demo account, right? Create a demo go high level account and just go in there live and text him from the conversations tab and show him how fast it works, right? Send him a landing page and say, hey, can you just fill this out real quick, right? Right on Zoom, have him fill out and have it text his phone number so you can see how fast that responds. And that right there is tangible. Now, instead of you having a slideshow in your PowerPoint that says automatic responses, he just filled out a form and he got a text and he's holding it. So we're bringing something that's not really tangible, right? Which is like a website automations that's online and we're bringing it to the business owner's hands. And now he's looking at it and he's thinking, wow, this could be my business. And this is super valuable. And this is what a lot of people don't do. I try to make it custom for every single person. I recommend slides if you're just starting off because it gives you a nice framework that you can go down. After you do those slides, you also want to go off script a little bit, right? Say, hey, look, let me show you a sample live account of what this looks like in action. And then you want to just pull up a live account or pull up a demo account and show them, look, you can take a lead, drag it in here, drop it in here. Does that make sense? Do you think this would help you? And always keep asking questions. Do you think this will help you with your goals? Do you think this will help you get more projects, right? Get more leads, get more appointments bring more sales if you had something like this. If you followed up with all your leads instantly and you had more reviews, do you think you'd be making more revenue? The obvious answer to all of these things is yes. And you can lead him into a closing position to where you've widened the gap, where he knows he needs some help. He's tried to do it himself and you can ask powerful questions like that. Why, well, why haven't you hit the goals that you just told me about? And then lead him through the conversation, right? Him or her, lead them through the conversation and then go in for the close when you feel like they actually need your help. And if the client's telling you their main pain point is they don't have enough leads, then learn another high ticket service like Facebook ads or Google ads, go on Udemy. You can literally buy a freaking course for 20 or $40, learn this service. He's literally telling you, I want to pay you a thousand dollars a month and you're refusing to learn how to run ads and get him more leads. That is just insane to me, right? Learn a high ticket service and make more money because you're able to deliver a better service for your clients. Long story short, that is my formula on how I've closed a bunch of go high level clients, a bunch of social media marketing clients, high ticket, low ticket, everything in between. If you want to see this live in action, I have a live sales call recording on this channel, as well as a bunch of client getting strategies also on this channel. I'll see you in the next one.